So I don't know if you know, it's a new update for your goggles free or your goggles end free, which I haven't got. And I was watching some videos today. I come across a channel I never even heard of before. It's mainly to do with FPV. It's called Mad Tech. And he said that there was a new update. Now it came out on the 29th of July. I would imagine it's come straight out after the latest update that we had for the RC2 or the Pro 2 controller. And we all know what we're talking about now, don't we? It's the screen lock. So now you can, if you want, it is optional. If you want, you can put your screen lock onto your goggles. I'm going to show you where the parts where it is. And it's up to you then if you want to do it. I'm not going to go down that road, which I will explain later anyway. So yeah, new update. Now, all it is, to be honest, it's just about putting a screen lock on it, which, which is optional or fixed known issues, <laughs> or fixed some unknown issues, whatever, which DJI would just let us know what are those problems. I mean, I'd be honest, I've had no problems with my goggles, especially, nothing wrong with me with Fart 2, but obviously the update is only for the goggles. Um, and once you've done the update, obviously you've got to turn everything on, make sure it's all connected, and then it'll be downloaded, and then I'll show you. So I'll get on with it. <laughs> I've just done it now. I didn't need to have the drone on for the, doing the actual connection. I'll show you that in a mo. Um, I'm just downloading the software now. And once you do the download, you have to connect your drone up and obviously your controller to everything to be official. Now, I did do a video to do with the RC2 and the Pro 2, and I actually went through, put a password. I'm not gonna do it at this time, guys. I'm not gonna put a password on it. It does sound like it's a bit of a pain in the ass. If you forget your password, it sounds like you've got to backdate it. So I'm not even gonna bother. I will show you where the, the, the screen lock's gonna be. So that's, that's something, but I'm not actually gonna add a password on this. That's up to you. I understand it. So we're just going into settings, click on that. We then go down to about, click on that. And it's right at the bottom apparently. All right. There it is, screen lock. Right, I'm not gonna do it guys, but like I said, you just click on that and then you put in the password. Now I suppose the other thing is, <laughs> how do you do that I don't want to go in that I don't want to go down that road guys I just mentioned that before that if you forget your password it's an 8 digit number as well anyway you can get it off there is to backdate it apparently so <laughs> I hope you find that interesting <laughs> because I can assure you guys that I am not putting a password on this. I understand it. It's obviously a screen lock. It's to stop, say, you, maybe your kids want to borrow your drone or something and you're off on holiday so they can't use it. Other than that, okay, so maybe you're, you're on, a, on a plane or you're in a, a cafe and you leave your bag there and somebody nicks it. But come on, how long have we been flying drones now, guys? And now suddenly DJI's come all secure like. Anyway, by the end of the day, that's your option. If you want to put a password password on there and a screen lock, that's fantastic. But for me, I'm not doing it. But I just want to pass on that this is the update. They fix the known issues, whatever that is. I haven't had no problems flying my drone, but maybe some people have. But anyway, as always, there's gonna be another video coming right sooner.